Shinjini Shen Gupta. She's an actuary, columnist, and a writer from India. Welcome. A very good morning, everyone. I am, like she said, I promise to make that a pledge every morning. I am. And I believe. I believe that in many ways, our leadership traits are getting redefined in a big way. Leadership is no longer about organizational hierarchy, so to say. It is also not about the designations or the titles you have under your visiting card. So what is it that takes to become an authentic leader? I asked myself that. And once I was going through the real requirements that I feel is make someone a leader, I found myself going back to history in a small way. I refer to the teachings of Rishi Aurobindo. If any of you have heard his name, he is an Indian visionary and a leader in his own way. He had postulated three things that it takes to learn. And I found them to be a perfect fit for what we understand to be leadership traits. Number one, nothing can be taught. Really, nothing can be taught. You can offer it, you cannot inflict it. You can guide, you can facilitate. You cannot train, you cannot lay out a roadmap for others to follow. Trust me, they won't. Number two, the mind has to be consulted in its own growth. How many times does a change work if it does not come from your own conviction? If you do not have a stake, a buy-in, if you do not have ownership, if you do not have trust in it. And the third and the very important one, change begins from the near and goes to the far. Start from where is and go to where it will be. We need to start with ourselves first. We need to start with the immediate. We need to start with a vision, not with a roadmap, not with a goal, not numbers. It doesn't really work that way. We need to start asking where to disrupt. We have to shake it up and then only can we find a new equilibrium, a new reform, a new way forward, and a new leader. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sanjani. Uh, next, we have 